Bees are by far one of the most important insects that influence many aspects of our everyday life. Today I'm going to teach you about how we are endangering them and how we can protect them. Bees are a keystone species in almost every environment that they are found in. They help complete the food chain by pollinating plants that other organisms rely on. Without bees, it is likely that these environments would struggle to support themselves. Did you know that in Michigan, of the 300 food crops that are grown, 60 or more rely on honeybees? Many crops rely on bees, but some like blueberries and cherries are 90% dependent on honeybee pollination. Neonicotinoids that control many insect pests are commonly used alongside fungicides which eliminate fungi in their spores. These chemicals that are commonplace in the agriculture industry have shown to be especially harmful to pollinators when used together. Some studies suggest that this combination makes bees more susceptible to parasites and others show it makes the chemicals more toxic. Research is lacking regarding this topic and honeybee populations are declining. Populations have declined 50% in the last 25 years. Without bees, it is likely that humans would still be able to survive, but some fruits, vegetables, and berries would be scarce as they rely on bees and other organisms for pollination. Thankfully, we can still help, but a two-prong approach between homeowners and businesses in conjunction with farmers would be most effective. People like you and I can do many things to help. Home pesticide use is quite common, but it's important that all directions are followed when preparing the chemicals. Also be sure they are applied when flowers are not blooming. Other things that can protect bees include planting home vegetable and flower gardens or keeping a home beehive. Farmers can help by identifying native bee species and selecting pesticides that would affect them minimally. Once again, it is important that the directions for the pesticides are strictly followed along with state and local guidelines. Avoiding the use of pesticides when flowers are not nearing bloom or are blooming is very important. Thank you for watching, and remember we rely on bees just as much as they rely on us.